Hi, this is Retrotation here, bringing you an amazing tutorial on answering the question of why the hell is my pixel art so blurry when I import it into Maya? Well, the answer is quite simple, as you'll see. Right here, we have Cubicle opened, and we're looking at a fantastic ninja I made for Clone Drone in the Danger Zone, also an equally awesome game. You should check it out. So what we need to do first, though, is we need to get this model out of Cubicle and into Maya. So we want to go click on File, Export, and we're going to export it as an FBX file. We don't need to change any of these options, so I'm just going to press OK. Save it as a ninja. Press OK. OK. So now we're going to go into a new scene into Maya and click File, Import. And we're going to import our ninja. And oh my gosh, he's humongous. But not only that, he's gray. He's a gray blocky voxel mess. All right, so how do we fix that? Uh, it's quite simple. We're going to, you'll see here in the top left corner, view, shading, lighting. This is your viewport menu options. We're going to click on shading. And we're going to click on hardware texturing. And oh my gosh, it worked. All right, so everything's there. If it doesn't work, you, what you want to do is you want to close out of Maya and try again. But since it worked, we don't need to do that. But there's one problem. Our textures are blurry, and that's why you're here today watching this tutorial. Uh, to fix that is actually quite simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Windows here up top to go to our rendering editor, the Hypershade editor. This is the one in particular we want. And this will be where your textures are. OK, and since we uh, import an FBX file, it should have automatically imported our ninja texture over here. If it did not, you can create one of uh, materials of your own. You can create a Blin, Fong, or Lambert, depending on what kind of option you want of reflectivity. But right now, we have everything set for us. So we click on the ninja material over here. And then what we want to do is go all the way over here on the right onto uh, the layer editor here. You're going to see on the, the right hand side of our screen. And we want to right click on the layer editor uh, header text and go down and click on a tribute editor. OK, and that's going to make a uh, sub menu here on the far, far right a new tab. So we're going to click on that new tab. And right now we're looking at the properties for the uh, material itself here for the ninja material. But what we're more interested in is in the file properties. So we're going to go to the second tab sub menu. And uh, you're going to look over here and you're going to see the image name in the directories, a bunch of other cool options that we don't care about right now. What we're interested in is the first one here. And it says filter type, OK? We, right now it's set to quadratic. And this is going to determine how the, the texture is interpolated on the pixel level. Uh, so we want to turn that off. And blam, check it out. It's back to exactly where you want it to be. Well, I hope you learned something today. And I wish you a great day. Feel free to leave any comments and questions on the YouTube video, and uh, take it easy. Ciao.